This is kind of cool. It's an old A model. Is it unlocked? Probably. <laughs> this is an oldie. about the wind it's a little windy and I don't have a, a wind sock for the GoPro but you know what gives the guys something to look forward to investing in but check out these old trucks <laughs> this is what we're here for look at that that one's holding a satellite antenna so I'm wrong this was the a model that I thought was on the dump truck but it's not and it's a little worse for wear. This old Pacific water truck um, is not for sale. Um, yeah, I can't get that one. Good, it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Look at how small it is. Little old Pacific. It obviously had like fire extinguishers or something here, but uh, that's really neat. But this one with the tree growing through it is the one that has the engine in it. So it says 444 XT. Um, that tire's a little worse for wear, Ugh. but it doesn't have a triple four in it. And it's, uh, 
It's an old logger, so it's got a single frame. Um, all the cross members are broken. That's kind of like the, the Western Star thing. Dayton wheels, rubber block suspension. That's interesting because it doesn't even have much at all for rust jacking, which is kind of really cool. Well, that's interesting. They welded gussets on here because this must have broken at some point. Now this truck would have been hauling off highway. You can see this has got tire chain shoe marks. Oh, and the frame's been broken frame. Broken frame. Interesting. Right where the uh, torque rod is. <sighs> so, that being said, that makes me kind of think that, well, who am I kidding? This truck is a, it's locked. We're crying in the mud. Who locks their old trucks? It's a 19, it's a 1990. It actually looks not terrible but not great. Yeah. It's kind of a neat color green. So, yeah. it's uh, not a bad sized tree growing through it. Growing up and around it. Ouch. <laughs> oh yeah, trees. One is right through the strap step Somebody broke it off. so it's been here a little while is what we're saying so let's pop this hood open here do you want to hold this hun well well i opened the hood of unit 404 ah. So this is what we're here for, uh, to take a look at this. Now, if we look at it, it's low flow. So it's the same as, uh, same as what's in K2. Now it didn't have a bunch of oil leaks. It's not to say that it's not gonna leak oil, but it's pretty, pretty tidy. You know what I mean? Wouldn't be that hard to pull this out. Piping looks to be in good shape on this side. It's even got washer fluid still. You can even see the serial number on it still. But that broken frame is, you know, because I thought <laughs> if I did buy this truck, would I have a hard time taking the engine out? But with a broken frame, yeah. So there it is, Cummins Recon. Now it's interesting that it's got those valve covers because that's a lot different than what um, Kenny has. Fuel pump looks similar. Compressor looks similar, but it's really clean. Supposedly this is low hours. <clears throat> so let's see if I can read that. So it's uh, 1280FF194. So it is a 4, 450 big cam 4. So it's a 88NT450 big cam 4. HS136 032700. So was this put in in 2000? 0327 it almost looks like it isn't it that's interesting interesting that would explain why it looks so good but um they want a few bucks for it 2000 was 22 years ago oh yeah <laughs> i guess <laughs> 
yeah, 22 years ago. But to get this engine like this, where's the dipstick? It's probably on the other side. This could be like, this could be a great candidate for, for K2. Because it's period correct, it would drop right in. The radiator works um, and it's got good history. As the story goes, this truck only worked for about a year, if that, since uh, the engine was put in. It's got oil, it's black, it's down, or no, is it? It's hard to tell, yeah, it's on the low side, but um, I don't know, yeah, I think he wants a little too much for it right now. We'll have to see. Pretty cool old Western Star though, but that broken frame, like, do you? You know, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and this would be cool to make it into like a, a rebuilt logger. Um, I've never been into the Western Stars per se. It's got cab air. The cab doesn't look like it's rotted out. A little bit of corrosion. But it's got lots of cracked cross members. Like that one's cracked and, you know, the frame's cracked. So... A guy could redo it as just a show horse, but it would be better if we just took the engine out. Because let's face it, there's not a big call for these. And with a broken frame, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but he also mentioned this one here. So this one here, oh, there's bear poop. Right there! <laughs> Watch out for the bears! Anyways, um, so yeah, this is an ex logger of theirs that they put a gravel box on. Um, now I mentioned that I could get this one too. You could do like a package deal, but you know, it's a single frame. I wouldn't be surprised if the frame is broken on this as well. Can't really, night, I don't see many nights things anymore. Can't really see in there. Is it locked? Probably. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's got a cool, cool shift knob in it. This one's definitely not as, not as nice. Looks like it was made so it would, you could quick change it. You know, I thought if this gravel box was good enough, you know, a guy could fix it up, but I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't an OG gravel truck. So the box is not great. Yeah, hinges are on the, Looks like the subframe that's bolted in, which seems a little sketch. Dayton wheels. At least this one isn't got the, had to have the, the gussets welded. When I say gussets, I mean the rubber block. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, I can't remember. I remember going and getting one of those actually and putting it in my old car. <laughs> Picked it up at Kenworth and I put it in the trunk of my 64 Impala. But, um, yeah, it's got the cab guard and this is kind of cool. It's the old A model. Is it unlocked? Probably. <laughs> this is an oldie. There's a little bit of water damage up there. Oh, there's a dead mouse. 
He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Yeah. I think we'll just leave him in his resting place. But yeah, this is, we'd need a lot of work. A lot. Let's close the hood on this one. What about this one? Can we open it? I'm guessing triple four. Uh, nope. It looks looks like a big cam. Big cam. Thanks, trees. Oh yeah, so that's is that a 350? See now this one shows a little more age where there's oil leaks. It still looks better than the engine in in uh, Kenny though. Can I read that? Is that? I don't know. 1983 tells you the can't see it. Well, I don't know. I think it's a 350 Cummins. That's my that's my guess. But. Uh, this one, this one I want the engine. But the question is, what's the engine worth? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed in this A model because I thought it was better, but um, that's okay. I don't need an A model right now. <laughs> I say that right now, but this is cool. This old Pacific, like, look at that beacon light on the roof. That is so cool. That is old school cool right there. I don't know what year it is. But she's old. Look at that custom door panel. <laughs> I think one of these would be easy to redo because there's really not much to the interiors. Twin stick. Look at that. Basic dash. That actually looks like a GM dash. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're wrong. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, that's it. That's what we came for. But what else can we find? Got some logging rigging. Andrew's looking for a bathroom. There's a couple trucks over here, so let's go take a poke. Got a bunch of old logging rigging. That was last done in 08. Peerless Page. This is a night. Is it air ride or just? No. <laughs> That's, um, what the hell kind of suspension is that? Spring ride? Whew. I have never seen that before. Never. Obviously, it didn't take off. An old uh, Arctic pole trailer. This looks like a, uh, um, I think this is, um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's where you you add an axle. You turn a tandem into a tritum. This is an Arctic. That's green. But uh, some real cool old. This looks like a Peerless. This is a newer trailer. I think. Yeah. Another old pole. See now, if you took this pole trailer 
this would be what you would pair up with that logger and make your five axle classic um, retro logger. And I mean, you could just fix the frame if all it was gonna be was a show truck. Ugh, I feel like I got something in my hair. And this is, I got a scratch on my head. Here's an old white Western star. It's got a little damage. It'll buff out. This is pretty cool. Andrea says, no, it's not cool. Yeah, look at that corrosion. Cool handle though, but that's, I don't think I've ever seen a cab rusted out that bad. That's, Yikes. Uh, she's a scrapper, that one. What about this one over here? I don't know whose it is. There's, it's so, it's sandy here. Look at that. It's like, it's like the Sahara with the trees. Look at all these little trees here. But uh, this one's newer. It's got aluminum front wheels. She's the fancy. Is it unlocked? Nope. Oh, it is too. Oh. Any dead things in it? So far, I don't see any. Ugh. Battery disconnect switches. Boy, these cabs are skinny. You know, this cab's actually in good shape because it's not broken. Um, usually, these steel cabs would break in the corners. Um, but this one's got a, ooh, a 3406, 15 speed, 12 front, 1988. <laughs> Something crawling on my neck. Ah! But very cool. That's cool. Skinny, but cool. If I was a Western star guy, I'd be into it. What's under here? There's a, there's the engine. I never thought to check, does it have, does it have a retarder? Oh yeah, it does have the retarder. You can see the lever on the dash there. That's, um, that's for the retarder. So this is a gooder. Is it broken? Oh, this has got, oh yeah, it's got that uh, goofy rubber block. I think that's like Hendrickson rubber block. Forget what that's called, or Chalmers. No, I think it's Chalmers. I think that's Chalmers suspension. So I think it's a fairly decent suspension for gravel trucks and that, because it's got high articulation. But um, anyways, I guess that's it. It's the only good stuff I could find today, guys. And actually that Chevy pickup's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, in a way I'm a little disappointed that that frame is broken, but in a way maybe it's a good thing because I don't need another truck for the truck. Correct. You don't want another truck? No. Oh. But it, it's got the right engine. Sorry. A six truck maximum. But if I buy an engine wrapped in a cab. Packaging that goes in the garbage bag. Yeah. Pretty cool though. We'll have to see. It's not a bad. Uh, it's not a bad old truck. Well, it, you can tell it's worked hard its whole life when they had to put the gussets on those um, rubber block. I, I can't think of the name that they are, but uh, pedestals, block and beam brackets, but sorry about the wind too. I really need to get a sock, a wind sock. But anyways, guys, that's it for me today. Take care, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Helps the algorithm and Lord knows I need all the help I can get. 
Take care guys, cheers, much appreciated. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this sunny day.